What up, though? Hey, y'all doing? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. But this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall and will rejoice and be glad therein. You tune in to Lady D, the truth seeker. Coming y'all at the one on the ones and twos. You know, I ain't about too, 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 too much trouble today. Ooh, I'm still basking in worship and prayer from this morning. We had a tremendous Lord and mercy. The Lord did his thing. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to come up out of that. And uh, the Lord had gave a word. And my God mom told me I need to tell the people. But I could because when I was trying to tell them, uh, I was high when I was trying to tell them this morning. <laughs> I was, I was high Ooh, Lord, when, when I was trying to release what he was saying. And so mom called me, you know, after prayer, I was like, yo, what the what? So, I'm here to tell y'all what he said. There's a lot of wars, wars, rumors of wars going on all over the world, you know. That right there. Uh, There's a lot going on in the world, you know. A lot of distractions, a lot of wars, wars, rumors of wars, lies, lies, and rumors of lies. A whole lot of just events and stuff popping off right here. You know, if you're not grounded in the Holy Spirit, the real Holy Spirit, I'm not talking about that church stuff. I'm talking about the real oil. If you ain't dipped in the oil for real, you'll never understand. You'll never understand spiritual things if you ain't really dipped in the oil. There are a lot of folks have been dipped in something, but it wasn't holy. You know, that's why a lot of folks got churches and stuff and, you know, all of that kind of crazy stuff and they got no oil with it. Anyway, praise the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord said that for the believers, the remnant, the remnant, the true believers, to brace yourself and immerse yourself in praise, in prayer, in worship, in thanksgiving. In gratitude, mm -hmm. with the right attitude, you know, so that your altitude could soar, be higher than most. See, the reason why there is a a mandate and a pursuit of the oil on my life is because my oil ain't tainted, and I don't compromise. Period. And so, my oil is real. So I'm coming to tell y'all, hey baby, what the Lord said. Just like he told Jehoshaphat and them, just like he told, you know, how he did it. You know, when he did it, in the biblical days, that's how it need to go down. We don't need to be out here in these streets worrying and stressing about wars, wars, and rumors of wars, cause they gonna happen. It's supposed to. And we're not trying to nullify the deity of Christ, but you know, if you really pay attention to, you know, the signs of the time and the times, then you will see, ooh, wee, y'all. I ain't never seen this car over here before, but I like it. Who is driving this? 
I can't put a picture on it, put it on my, cause it's cold, which I like, oh, I like it. Ooh, SS Money, baby, what's happening? Ooh, shoot that booger up, oh, wait a minute. Uh, is it an illusion? The money, the fashion cars, and all the fun. Ooh, and it's the right color. How the Lord gonna just put something that you like, that you really like in your face like that? And you don't even know where it come from. Oh, I want something like that, Jesus. Anyway, that's an old school SS Monte Carlo. Y'all don't know nothing about that. But listen. Uh, that's what this is out here. All the stuff that you see on the news, all the stuff you see on the social media. You know, lies, lies, and women lies. People, man, I'm going to keep my mouth shut because, you know, I cut folk without cutting them. And they need to walk down the street and don't know they cut. So I'm going to come and be cool right now with the things that I, you know, I'm going to say just what the Lord say. I ain't going to say what the news say right now. But what the Lord say right now is praise Him. What the Lord say right now is worship Him. What the Lord say right now is don't worry. Worship. Don't worry. Worship. Don't worry. Worship is how we war. Got you drowning the sin and looking for the shore. Whole lot of folk like that right now. And then they, you know, <laughs> they pursuing the oil like, you know, like the oil is just, you know, cheap and free. The oil is costly. The price is going up on the oil. It is. But I just come to tell y'all, worshiping, that's how we war. Don't worry about what's going on over there, over there, and over there, and you know, because God got that. You think my daddy gonna let this nigga, you think my, you got to be stupid. If you stressed out and worried about what's going on over there, God will defend Israel on his own. They ain't even really got the fight back. He want to know what the posture of our heart is. Hey, baby. And here's the thing. The do dirty has been doing dirty since they've been doing dirty. You know? And we're not trying to nullify the gospel at all. You know, they've been trying to nullify his deity and the person of who he is in us. You know? And so, they got us, you know, like wars, wars, rumors of wars, and wars, rumors, lies, lies, rumors of lies, you know, inciting all kind of stuff and Got it looking like biblical days and, you know, trying to set up this one world government. So they can come in and save your day. So they can have folk eating mac and cheese. And cheesing while they macking. And if you don't have discernment and the Holy Ghost, you, you know, you're going to be out here <laughs> like a and no like them. Do dirty doing dirty and dummy. God said worship him. In spirit and in truth. And in order for the worship him in spirit and in truth, you got to know the truth. And it's uh, unfortunate that uh people don't believe the truth. People don't want to hear the truth. People don't like the truth. The truth is, you know, it's complicated. But it'll set you free. You see, God is looking for a real, authentic beings to distribute His glory. To distribute His glory, to distribute. 
his praise, to distribute his love, to distribute his power in the earth realm. It's not so much as about an edifice. It's not so much as about an individual. It's not so much as about uh, trivial, mediocre things. Like, you know, it's about a relationship within. And with the relationship with him within, everything else is futile. Everything. Except Christ and him crucified. That's why I don't be, I be seeing what be going on. I ain't never sleep. <laughs> you got neighbors that just, this man just stop the truck. Come back and talk to me. Jesus have mercy, Father. He don't stop. He don't know I'm on video. Um, you got them neighbors that be trying to get you. <laughs> they be trying to catch you outside so they can talk to you. So they can try to get a date. That's cute. That's cute. I ain't, you know, that don't, I ain't impressed though. <laughs> you know. But, uh, y'all it is real on the battlefield. And it's, you know, it's time out for us. Co-signing with Satan, you know, and our the the adversary wants to get uh, the American people, the people, wherever they get the people, aroused in their emotions concerning whatever is going on. They want an emotional upheaval in the people. That's why so much is going on, because if they can get an emotional arise out the people, you know, everybody love Israel, you know, because everybody know what the Lord said about Israel, but everybody don't understand that God going to defend Israel, hey baby, everybody don't understand that there is a, there is a drawing and a pull on the American people's emotions, and if they can get your emotions Run, run, all rattled up and tied up in a bunch in stress. Oh Lord, they're gonna attack this Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Then what the world? You saying the Lord ain't nothing. Now he ain't gonna de defend his people. That's just saying, sugar. While everybody all look at the big picture, sugar. And look at the timing of everything. See, who's Keller's calculation of time and conclusion? Go look at Fanshawe Pearson because he could explain it a little bit better than me because I get excited when I be talking about all this stuff. He look calmer than me. You know, that's Uncle Shot. Shout out to him. He doing his work and, you know, to God be the glory. But check out the clues, Keller's calculation of time and conclusion. Check out the timing, the feast. Them niggas gonna come through there during tabernacle? <laughs> Every time there's a major something going on, it's around tabernacle time. It's about it's around a feast, a feast time, a feast ordinance time. Every time there's a something going on, a, a mass something going on, there is it's done around the order ordained feasts that God told us that we must keep. But we have not been taught that because, you know, folk hadn't been taught that, so, you know, they can't teach what they, they don't know. So we gotta, you know, that's why the Bible says to study to show yourself a fool that workmen that need not be ashamed, so you can rightly divide the word of truth. But here's the thing. Those feasts are in the regular Bible, but you would want to go deeper to the hidden scrolls, go find the Maccabees, go look for the Book of Enoch, go look for a uh, uh, whole bunch of them. Uh, 
them other brothers. Just a lot of them. There's a whole lot of stuff that they have we, we have not been privy to, and so we don't understand these feast times. If you understood the feast times and you saw what was going on and you paid attention, see, that's why. That's why I be trying to stay low key. I be trying, but you know, people be trying to, you know, everybody just gotta have a camera everywhere they go and they gotta video everything. That gets on my nerves, but. You know, it is what it is. It's life now. I guess I got to get used to it. But uh, I be trying to stay low-key because I don't like folks to know where I'm at until after I'm gone. Because you'll never run up. You'll never get the chance to run up on me. The enemy will never. Ever. And I know I'm a threat to the adversary because of the things that I speak. But I ain't finna stop speaking. Had we been aware and known about the feast, then we would understand everything that's going on right now. Had we been aware and understood that these fe the feasts are really to bring us back to God. And so while we out here in America cutting up our, you know, wor worrying instead of worshiping, the people up in Jerusalem, they praising and worshiping God in the doggone bombshell tanks. That's the kind of tenacious worship we have to have because we have to believe God above everything because how could you how could God move if his people don't trust him or believe him I mean he can but you know how much bragging on your daddy or your man make them you know want to do more you know when you worship them and love on them love on them when I get one I'll show you how it's done but uh, so I worship my daddy till the end. But uh, when you love on him, <laughs> a way nobody else can, he can get his special sauce and his stamp of approval. <laughs> we out in these streets not worried about nothing and nobody, and walking in love. Like, I got some folks that have done me some stuff, but I still love them. I do. I still support them sometimes. But this is where I'm at with all of that supporting thing. Because I've been in this thing for a long time and got a whole lot of people, a whole lot of, you know, people follow people because I follow people. People follow people because I posted people. I stopped all that on purpose. Because ain't nobody, nobody supporting Lady D. But I don't care about that, but I'm just saying, I'm not finna be posting you and you ain't posting, y'all ain't what? Support, no. Respect begets respect. And then if I show up on your stuff and I comment, most of the time I'm going to comment about the Lord and his deity. It ain't never about me. I see somebody calling me right now to be trying to get me to go do something. I'm not up for all of that. Everybody don't, can't have access to me no more. Not access to, folks access to Lady D has been denied. <sighs> Unless the Lord build a house, the labor's a labor, labor in vain. And a lot of folk got houses that the Lord ain't built. Jack built them boogers. The houses that Jack built. Jack in a box. And I can't be partaking. Sometimes. Now, if he allow me to go, I'll go. If he allow me to partake, I'll partake. But if he don't, I won't. But I need y'all to understand this. Whew. There's a war going on in the heavenlies. And the adversary knows. He know what he know. But God ain't in the business of losing. My daddy ain't no loser, sugar. My daddy, he know what's going on. He ain't stressing. He ain't worrying. He ain't anxious. He ain't, he sure ain't fearful. He know what's going on. And he gonna deal with it accordingly. All he want us to do 
is worship him while we waiting for him to move. However he gonna move, cause he definitely gonna move. You tune in to Lady D, the truth seeker. I gotta go, sugars. I got something, you know, growing. I love y'all. Holler at y'all when I holler at y'all. Whenever I holler at y'all, it's when I holler at y'all. You know?